Sagittarius, welcome to your reading for the second half of April, 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much for joining me. So keep in mind, guys, these are general readings, okay? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. If you find that the way I'm telling the story doesn't necessarily match your situation, but you're still resonating with the energy coming through anyway, just apply it to your story as it should, yeah, as it goes with you, okay? I am pulling energies for a lot of different people, and so it may not necessarily come across the way it should for you specifically, but if you're still resonating with the message, just place the pieces as they go for you. And please do not force it to fit, okay? If the message doesn't resonate with you, just let it go, no matter how it's being told. Um, I am available for general readings, or I'm sorry, for personal readings. Um, all of the readings that I offer in the description box below can be applied to any situation, not necessarily just a love or twin flame romantic relationship, something like that, okay? Um, yeah, I think that's it. So let's get into this. All right. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Sagittarius for this time period of April 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, here we go, Sagittarius. What's going on with you, my lovely Sagittarius? I love Sagittarius energy. I get along with you guys so well. You're so much fun. <laughs> Sagittarius. Sagittarius, what are we, what are y'all going for? All right, one more shuffle for you, Sagittarius, and then we'll get into this. Okay, let's cut the deck here. All right, Sag, overall energy for you, we have the Two of Cups. Very nice. So I'm picking up that there's balance coming in for you, uh, for yourself. There could also be a love relationship coming in. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, we, <laughs> we have the Seven of Swords. Okay, well, right. We have the world in reverse, but then we also have Temperance. All right, so... Um, So with the Two of Cups, we're either talking about a relationship with yourself or the relationship with somebody else. But as I was reading these cards, as I was looking at them and I was channeling the message, someone said, you're cheating yourself here. Now, I just did the Scorpio video and... Um, the title of that video is You're Only Cheating Yourself Here, so maybe that's what's coming through, but no. No. Um, all right, so you're in a cycle, Sagittarius, where you've been uh, acting in ways that have really just been to your own detriment. And you're coming to the end of this, however, but you're in resistance to it, okay? Um, but temperance is here helping you get this balance, helping you see where you've been cheating yourself. I'm really not picking up that this is energy from an outside. This Two of Cups, for the most part, is not really talking about a relationship with someone else. It's not an external relationship. We're talking about an internal relationship here, okay? In your storyline, we have the Two of Swords with the Prince of Swords. All right, so somebody wants to fight about something or somebody wants to rush in towards something, um, but you might be trying to figure something, figure out a way to do it. Um, yeah, I'm really, this something's really blank on this, guys. Huh. Well, let's just keep going. I mean, honestly, it's like, I feel like you want to rush towards something. Hmm. This energy that I'm feeling from the Knight or the Prince of Swords is very much like the Knight of Wands. What I'm feeling is like, this is your energy here, Sagittarius, but it's, 
it's on a mental level. It's not like your usual fiery, passionate stuff. Like you're really, you're really connecting with some um, mental uh, 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 thought type situations here. You want to, you want to charge into battle somehow, but you're trying to plan this step. You're trying to figure out how to get there. You're, 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 you're um, planning your next move in a sense. We have the Princess of Cups or the, the Page of Cups with the Three of Pentacles. Um, someone's not working well with somebody else. And in regards to what I was saying about the Two of Cups, you're in conflict with yourself. There is a part of yourself. There is an emotional, aha, aha, ha, ha, here we go. There is an emotional aspect of yourself that is trying to come forward. But you, Mm, but you're at odds with it. You're really at odds with it. And for the most part, it's because, um, yeah, you're really at odds with it. And for the most part, it's because you may feel like um, this emotional aspect to yourself has been a detriment. You are, it's been leaving you too vulnerable. And I'm, and, and I'm really feeling being pushed to stress to you that vulnerability is not a sign of weakness. Vulnerability is a sign of strength. But that's where this Prince of Swords, this Knight of Swords energy is coming in. It's like you want to beat that vulnerability out of you. Or at least there has been energy around you in the past that has kind of beat it out of you. Whether that be familial situations, friends, um, colleagues, peers, teachers, school environments, whatever. It's, it's, it's led you to really push this vulnerable, vulnerable aspect to yourself away. But understand that the more you do that, the more you cheat yourself. And this is why I was hearing you're only cheating yourself at this point. Because you are, you are cutting yourself off from a very deep and beneficial part of yourself, Sagittarius, when you... Um, push this side of yourself away because with the page of cups th this part i see i literally see this emotional side of yourself coming up to you trying to hand you this cup and say hey can we can we talk about this can we work this out and you're approaching the situation with this knight of swords and you're like nah get away from me it's coming from a, pa a place of pain so this aspect of yourself is recognizing this and is not holding anything against you, but also is pleading with you, is pleading with you, is plead. I literally want to cry, is pleading with you. Please just work with me. I'm not trying to hurt you. I am a part of you. You need me just as I need, just as much as I need you. Please, will you just work with me? Wow, that's really deep and heavy, guys. Oof. Okay, moving forward, we have death in reverse. Yeah, so there's that resistance to the transformation and the three of swords in reverse because it's like you've made your decision. You're not going to let yourself be hurt again, but that decision is a detriment to you because you're literally cutting yourself off from a very important part of yourself. A transformation is here, Sagittarius, but you're in resistance to it. And I am encouraging you to please just open up to this side of yourself because it is crying. It is desperately trying to come forward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have the fool in reverse with the king of swords. But honestly, I, this king of swords isn't making me feel too good. Why? Because you are, you are, um, well, all right. It doesn't make me feel too good, but that's because I'm connecting with this emotional aspect of yourself that's trying to come forward and you're and you Sagittarius are looking at this fool energy with um the, with the energy of the king of swords and you're trying to come to terms with it but this is why it's also the king of swords is not making me feel too good because you're being a little too analytical about it you're being um and now the king of swords is not in reverse so he's still being diplomatic this energy is still you know rooted in truth and fairness and honesty, but at the same time, you're still being a little too harsh on yourself about it. Um, and you're, in some senses, in some cases, you're refusing to, to let go and see a different side of this. And that is why the fool is in reverse. You can maintain the King of Swords energy. I, I, I would recommend that you maintain the King of Swords energy, but it's time to start looking at this from a vulnerability aspect. You're, it's time to really start to get to, to become comfortable and become to terms with vulnerability. Because to be quite honest, that is the name of our game here on Earth. 
we learn, we grow and experience through vulnerability, putting yourself out there with it. I mean, understanding that at any moment you could get hurt. Now that doesn't mean you don't protect yourself. It doesn't mean you don't take steps to make sure you don't get hurt as much as you could potentially could. But at the same time, you're never not going to not get hurt. Even when you fight vulnerability, you still will get hurt eventually. So there, again, that is why you're cheating yourself with this Seven of Swords energy here. Because, because in, in choosing not to put yourself in a situation in which you're vulnerable, and again, I'm not asking you to put, put yourself in risky, extremely risky situations, which is something that a Sagittarius may find themselves doing every once in a while. But um, if, if you are completely foregoing all forms of vulnerability, then you could be missing out on some very, very important and beneficial life experiences, life lesson, lessons even. And even if you do get hurt in the in this situation in which you were vulnerable, number one, it doesn't mean you're not going to survive. Number two, it doesn't mean that you're an idiot or whatever. It's just a matter of you can learn from this now. You have you face a greater lesson that can only benefit you should you put it to right you the right use moving forward in the future. Yeah. Next, we have the Ten of Pentacles, and that's upright with the hanged man. So you're gaining a new perspective here, okay? All right, cool. You're starting to get a new perspective. You're starting to open yourself up to a new perspective. You're starting to analyze what it is you truly want in um, ultimate fulfillment and how it is that you get there. You're starting to look at um, the surroundings and you, I guess for some, you're starting to understand the value in vulnerability. You know, you're gaining a new perspective on it. And, but for the most part, there are some of you that will be reaching that realization during this time period. But, but, but overall, you're really starting to listen to this emotional aspect of yourself and at least giving it a chance to, <laughs> to plead their case, basically, <laughs> with the King of Swords. Yeah. Okay, and that's all ultimately in service of ultimate material fulfillment or the fulfillment of that which you came here to do in this lifetime. So that's good. That is good. Moving forward, we have oof, the tower in reverse with the prince of pentacles. Now, the tower is in reverse because you are in resistance to this tower energy. But it's, excuse me, it's not all bad. Why? Because there is still some sort of movement. You are Sagittari Sagittarius. You are showing up as the knight, or in this deck, it's called the Prince of Pentacles. The Prince of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck. However, there is still movement, okay? The Prince of Pentacles is not reversed, so it's not like you're refusing to budge, but you're just moving very slowly. And that's why the tower energy is in reverse because the tower energy is not a slow energy. That is fast, sudden, in and out, done. Um, but you're trying to... <laughs> you're trying to slow the universe down and honey, it doesn't work that way. But that's all right. Everything will come in time. It's all good. Yeah. Moving forward, we have... Justice in reverse with the King of Pentacles in reverse. Um, there could be someone around you. I really feel like there's someone around you that is embodying this King of Pentacles energy in reverse, but I feel like they're influencing you. This, I feel like this is where your, um, this is, way I, this is the way I heard it, so this is the way I'm going to say it. This is way you're, where your fear of vulnerability is coming from. There was a masculine energy in your life, or maybe there still is a masculine energy in your life. It could be your, a father figure. It could be a mother figure. Please understand that um, I'm talking about energy here, not gender, all right? So just it is, it is showing itself as, they are showing themselves as a masculine energy, um, but that could be a man or a woman. Um, but there was someone who you really, whose opinion you really valued because their material representation of their life was like the up and up, you know what I mean? Like the ultimate role model, okay? But the problem with it is they are twisted in their view of reality. Now, they may have been able to find success and glory on the material realm, but please understand that what you don't see is that their, their internal reality 
ain't so put together. <laughs> okay. So, um, they have taught you this, um, they've taught you not to be vulnerable. They have put a fear, they've helped put a fear of vulnerability in you. And that's why justice is in reverse. Why? Because you're not really truly living the things that you really should want to be doing because you don't want to be vulnerable. What I am picking up for some of you is that this is not necessarily a person, but you could be, you could have found yourself in a position where you started to come to terms with your wild and crazy and sometimes debaucherous Sagittarius energy. Um, and in this situation, this would be why this energy is showing up as the King of Pentacles here because, um, because now you've gotten this twisted view of yourself. I feel like there may have been some people, now we didn't, we don't have the five of wands, maybe it'll come up in the last two, but I feel like there may have been some people in, in your life that have like injected this thought into your mind and now it's kind of taken root and you don't really know where to go with it. Ooh, that's making me feel nauseous. But that is just for a select, just for, yeah, very, very, a, a select uh, few of you. For the most part, this is just you trying to come to terms with vulnerability. You know, finally for you, Sagittarius, we have the devil. Oof. The devil's been coming up a lot lately, guys, for all of the signs. And the Nine of Pentacles. Um... Wow. Wow. Standing on your own in the face of the devil. Um, I, really, I really see this being you taking your power back and stepping into your independence um, and knowing that you're strong enough to be vulnerable. You don't have to be afraid of this anymore. I literally see you releasing these chains from this devil energy. And this devil energy is absolutely this energy that's keeping you in fear of being vulnerable. The devil absolutely doesn't want, doesn't want someone to realize their strength because they don't have control over the, that person anymore. The devil doesn't have control anymore. And if you know, if you're good and solid in your strength, then you know that you can be vulnerable. And if something goes down, something goes down. It's not going to be the end of you. You know, at the most, you'll learn something from it. You'll move on stronger and wiser than you were before. And then the devil really has even less of a chance of holding on to you and, and controlling you. So uh, to be quite honest, having the devil with the nine of pentacles here at the end of the reading is a very beautiful outcome, I would say, because you're finally taking your power back. You're releasing your hold on not not wanting to be vulnerable. So that's good. That's really good, Sagittarius. I'm very proud. I'm very happy to see that for you. And ultimately, temperance is here underneath everything, which is just saying that you're you're just in a period right now. I know this is rough. I know it sucks. But you're in a period right now where you're just bringing greater balance to yourself. Okay? And things like, the ju like justice, the tower, the fool, the world, death, these are all in reverse but it's just because there's resistance. That's all. You're just getting through it. The devil is upright because the devil is, is fully in full view to you right now. You see that clearly. But what you don't necessarily see clearly is what the devil represents. And that's what you're coming to terms with. And I can tell you right now, for the most part, the devil represents your attachment to fear. Fear of vulnerability, okay? But once you come to terms with that, once you accept that, then you can move through the rest of this process of allowing the tower energy to come through, um, allowing death to happen, allowing um, things to change with the world, the cycle to come to an end with the world and allowing yourself to finally take that leap of faith with the fool in your next chapter. Okay, Sagittarius? 
there it is. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I look forward to connecting with you guys in May for the first half of May. I wish you all the best. Much, much love to you. Take care, and I will speak with you soon. Bye.